According to one royal biographer, Charles has avoided talking about the monarchy's future amid the risk it may seem that he wants to end the Queen's reign prematurely. Charles wants to avoid any discussion over the future of the monarchy and change the routine of the Queen who has been in control for decades, royal commentator Angela Levin has claimed. The Queen is also keen to keep things as they are, Ms. Levin claimed, as Her Majesty approaches 70 years on the throne. Speaking to Tortoise Media, Ms. Levin said, One reason you can't know about his plans is that Prince Charles has loads of plans for changing the monarchy but he doesn't want to upset the Queen. Shush is used to things going on for decades and he feels that if he starts talking about it he is wanting her to die, which he does not. H has kept a lot of it back because she is happy with things as they are, they have been the same for a very long time. It has long been reported Charles will slim down the royal family when he ascends to the throne. Already in the last year, Charles and William have become more present at functions as the Queen prepares to one day step down. Charles and the Cambridges at last month's G7 summit with the Prince of Wales giving a keynote speech on the battle against climate change. As the Queen watched on, Charles said, the fight against this terrible pandemic provides, if ever one was needed, a crystal clear example of the scale and sheer speed at which the global community can tackle crises when we combine political will, with business ingenuity and public mobilization. And we are doing it for the pandemic. So, if you don't mind me saying so, we must also do it for the planet. My Sustainable Markets Initiative has brought together over 300 global CEOs forming a coalition of the willing. They have over $60 trillion in assets under management, and crucially a determination to direct tens of trillions of dollars towards sustainable investment by 2030 with invaluable support from the world's four largest accountancy firms. Following the death of his father, Prince Philip in April, plans have been put in place to scale down the workload for the Queen. Instead, Charles and William will host more official engagements at the palace as the Queen reduces her workload. They said, the kindest thing to do is to allow her to live where she feels most comfortable. 